volume of prisms. Now, the volume formula is area times height that, that you can see there. The first thing I want to do is I want to mention what a prism is. And a really good way of looking at a prism is to draw two shapes that are the same, same size and shape. For instance, if we draw a rectangle, and we draw another one further back, assuming they're the same size and shape, you then connect the vertices up with straight parallel sides. And when you're finished, you end up with what's called a prism. All right, there's lots of prisms you can make. You can make them with two triangles that are the same and connecting them up with straight parallel sides. You can even do it with two circles and connecting them up. So this is called a cylinder, but you could also say it's a circular prism. This is a triangular prism, and this is a rectangular prism. We see prisms all the time. A loaf of bread, I've put a loaf of bread up because a loaf of bread is a really good example of a prism. And what you'll notice is that every slice of bread is the same size, or almost the same size. If it was a perfect prism, they would be. All right. And if I was to slice any of these prisms, the same thing would happen. For instance, the cylinder, if I keep slicing across, every circle slice would be the same size. If I slice the triangular prism, every slice would give a triangle that was the same size. Now, when we find the volume, all you need to do is find the area of the base or the top. Either one's the same. So you find the area of this base and you multiply it by the height and that will find you the volume of your prism. 